All right, so lesson 83 is on proportions. Now, a proportion is two ratios that are equivalent or equal to each other. So in this problem, we have which of these ratios forms a proportion with two-thirds. That means it needs to be equal to two-thirds. So we're going to look two-thirds has to be equal to one of these other fractions. So we can look at these and see if any of these numbers reduce down to two-thirds, because if they reduce, we know it has to be the same. So let's look first at two-fourths. If I reduce two-fourths, I get one-half. That's not the same as two-thirds, so that one's not correct. Let's look at B, three-fourths. Well, I can't reduce three-fourths any smaller, so it can't be that one. And let's look at three, four-six. Four-six, we can reduce down to two-thirds. So my answer is C. Four six is the same as two thirds. So here, it wants us to write out a proportion with digits, so numbers. Four is to six as six is to nine. So the way we write that is this first part, four is to six is my first, pro first proportion, and then six is to nine is my second proportion. So four is two is my div division sign, six as my as becomes the equal sign, as 6 is to 9. So this is your full answer. 4 is to 6 as 6 is to 9. Okay. So on this one, next one, complete this proportion. 2 is to 6 as what number is to 30? So let's write it out first. 2 is to 6 as what number is to 30? I need to solve for this question mark. So here we can go ahead and figure out what constant factor we have between these numbers. So we can think 6 times what equals 30? Well, 6 times 5 equals 30. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the top. So multiply the top by 5 as well. And 2 times 5 is 10. So 2 6 is the same as... 10 over 30. Now if you're not sure, you can reduce this back down by 5 to see if it works. So if I reduce this down, divide the top and bottom by 5, I get five, 10 divided by 5 is 2, 3 divided by 5 is 6. So that means that this is our correct answer. Okay. Alright, and that's it. Good luck on your homework.